when you come and tell me that the Bank of Ghana is situated as as earthquake prone, prone zone, here it's not functioning well. What is here? Your head. The brains are not functioning well. That place is where we have the Chief Justice. In Bagbin's, no, no, whilst you are talking about this, Bagbin says that he has a number, either number two or number three in Ghana's ranking. The Chief Justice is number two or number, number three or number four, not so. And you want to say that the Chief Justice, where the Chief Justice operates from her offices is, is not earthquake prone. So when you are going to the Bank of Ghana, immediately you open the, the, the for, traffic. For, for the purpose of your conversation, and uh, specific to this issue, what you are seeing on the screen is the stretch from the Independence Square Beautiful. to the Bank of Ghana. So you see the high court complex there. That's you right. You see national lotteries. You see um, the Commission on Human Rights, all and of them along justice, that and so then on. the organized uh, okay, so, economic so crime so office. Why is it that you doubt the explanation of the Bank of Ghana as far as the earthquake? Uh, all the these, all these institutions are within the same vicinity. And this is the newly refurbished Kwame Nkrumah mausoleum. All these are within the Bank of Ghana vicinity. So it couldn't have been a case that it is Bank of Ghana that is only subjected to the earthquake with difficulties. In any case, is it today that we have been warned that Accra is the epicenter of any earth tremor of air or earthquake? Everyone knows. So if earthquakes could be the reason for which we have to relocate mm -hmm. our Bank of Ghana from where it is, then it should not have been done in Accra any longer. In fact, we should have been going to Kintampo, or we could go to Zankana. And, and that is the Bank of Ghana building. That is, and just opposite this Bank of Ghana building, before this Bank of Ghana, is the Ghana Commercial Bank. After the Ghana Commercial Bank is the former a a AMA offices. Now, are you suggesting that the Bank of Ghana governors are lying or they are because, taking us for granted because or Ghanaians are not angry no, enough? No, first, Ghanaians are not angry enough. Second, because we are not angry enough, they can offer any useless explanation as a justification for the vulgarity that we are witnessing in the economy.